Hey everyone, my name is Jake, and today we're going to learn how to install the Silesia Air Hinge, specifically the deep section of the hinge, into a pre-finished case. I have my case here, and I'm putting my two hinges right along these rails. First things first, I'm going to make sure that my case is securely attached. Then I'm going to grab my plate with the addition of the edge mortising adapter. I have this set in the lowest setting. Going to deploy my right flags and press firmly against those flags and firmly up against that edge mortising adapter. Now I know exactly where the corner of this box is. I like to take two clamps, one quick clamp on this side and ideally a clamp that can extend all the way down to the edge of your case just because we don't want this to move on us while we're cutting this deep of a hinge. Now today I'm using the eight millimeter roughing bit. We're going almost as deep as origin can possibly cut. So I want to make sure that it has a nice sharp bit to clear through all that material with ease. Now to achieve the deepest possible cut in this scenario, because we're on plate, we need to protrude the bit actually below the base of origin. So when you're moving the tool around, make sure that the spindle is off and when you set it down, make sure that you're setting it down over a place where the bit has somewhere to hang below the tool. Always Z-touch directly on top of the material using a eight millimeter bit. There you go, we're so close to the material that it was a very short Z-touch, but we're not touching it yet. Okay, I have two, I've imported my file. I've placed it at uh, 70 millimeters by negative 50 millimeters, which positions it right down here in the corner of my box. This hinge is perfectly positioned in the file for you so that you don't have to think about it. There's two cut paths directly on top of each other. One for the shallow part and one that goes all the way down to the deepest part. A couple things I want to make sure that we have set. I need to turn off my roughing pass so I will not have a roughing and finish pass. And I can do this in five depth passes versus this first one is just single pass. That should be no problem. Okay. Oh, I also gave it a negative eight thousandth of an inch offset to achieve a nice friction fit. That will change depending on the bit that you use. Let's go ahead and cut it.
And there we go. Do a test fit before we move our plate. And that is a nice friction fit. Make sure I can still get it out. Now we can move to the next side. By repeating the steps, deploying left side flags, pressing firmly up against both of those and clamping into place. Now I've taken the same file, I've, 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 I'm sorry, not same file, the left side of the file, placed it at negative 70, by negative 50, which will put us right down here on the bottom left corner of our box. And everything is spaced out for you perfectly. Let's do it. And there we go. Next side, cut and ready for install. That's how to install a Celicia air hinge. Thanks for watching.